Josh, you want to walk us through that hurdle? <laughs> yeah, um, obviously third down, they give us a man look. Um, you know, first, second option really weren't there, so I just kind of felt felt the lane. Um, and obviously knowing the situation, you know, how the game was going, uh, I just felt like, you know, we needed something to, to, to get a first down there. And again, I, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help our team win a, win a football game. And in my mind, that was uh, at the top of the list. Did you know you were going to clear him? Did you think uh, you were pretty good? You, you really <laughs> never know until it happens. It's just one of those split second decision things that uh, you, sometimes you got to get lucky for. And, um, you know, being a bigger guy, I understand that sometimes they're going to try to hit low. And in that situation, it worked out. How much fun was it for you to be just throwing the ball deep so many times tonight? It was good. I mean, it, it was it was one of those games. Uh, I was talking to some of the guys. Um, I know we didn't have a lot of plays. We didn't have really a lot of third downs, really a lot of first downs. Um, but we had a lot of explosive plays. Guys got open, uh, made some unbelievable plays. Um, you know, E ran a, a great route. Dawson, uh, ad libbing. Um, and then again, just our, our backs, you know, were, were big when they were trying to go with the cover two stuff, getting it to them and uh, just getting it to them quick and uh, just getting some rack after that. But our guys made some plays. And again, when you when you have a defense that can go out there and, and um, you know, play against a, a, a really good offense, maybe one of the best offenses in the league and do that, you know, it's uh, very reassuring. What's Dawson doing different this season? And how does having a tight end catch the touchdown every week change the offense for you? I don't know if he's doing anything different per se. Um, he's just making plays. You know, he's, he's getting open. I trust him. I've trust him, you know, never since I've known him. Um, but I think he's trusting himself now, understanding um, that every play, you know, there's a potential of him getting the ball. You know, he runs the right routes. I've, I've mentioned before, he, he's one of our, our better blockers. And I'd say he's one of the better blocking tight ends in the league. And uh, he just comes to work each and every day and, and just wants to help this team win football games. Emmanuel just talked about your throw on the first touchdown. I don't know how he went on and on about it. How did you, how did you feel about it when you let that one go? I felt good off the hand. And obviously the result um, is what we wanted. Um, you know, but throughout the game, just a couple mental errors, especially coming out of halftime, uh, missing Steph on a stop. Um, you know, we called a play. I thought it was something else. So I got to clean that up and, and make sure I'm, you know, in tune with everything and, and on target there. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we probably left out there. And again, we'll, we'll watch the film tomorrow and um, try, to, try to fix it and then move on. There's a message inside the huddle in the fourth quarter when uh, they put it to 11 points. You guys have it on the 15 yard line and knowing that they kind of started to make it a game there, what was the message? Yeah, uh, we just wanted to put, put together a good drive, um, you know, and uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to do that. Uh, like I said, we had guys make some plays. Um, yeah, we, we, we knew that if we can go down there and score, especially with how much time was left. But again, this is an offense where it doesn't matter really how much time um, or how many points they're down. They've shown it time and time again to, to be able to come back from deficits like those. So we had to continue to apply the pressure and continue to be us. So for Josh, for you to beat a team like that, what's the message that you guys sent to the rest of the AFC? And more importantly, what's the message in the locker room? How does this as a team, how do, you, how do you compartmentalize this win? What does it say about it? Well, I think, um, you know, as it is your guys' job, I think this is going to be made a bigger deal than what it is. You know, we are in week five. Uh, last time I checked, you know, four wins doesn't get you into the playoffs. Um, we, we came into a hostile environment, played a really good team, um, ended up with a, with a win, and, you know, that's, that's our goal each and every week, and to come out here uh, and to be resilient through the lightning delays and, um, and a couple plays here or there. But again, I'm proud of our team for, for how we handled the situation. Coming in, like I said, away games are, are never easy, no matter who you're playing. And each week, it's a different, different situation, uh, different matchup. Um, so you got you to gotta go out there and execute a game plan. That's what we did today, and that's what we're going to have to continue to do. Given your history with this team, though, Josh, and what happened last year, does it feel like you cleared some sort of a hurdle? No, no pun intended there. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think. Again, just just you know, that's why you play the game. Um, it's a week by week league, and you know you're either on top of the world or or you need everybody fired and change everything up. And uh, we just wanted to come out here and try to execute a game plan. Our, our coaching staff did a great job, offense and defense, uh, putting together a game plan. It was our job to come out here and execute it. Um, but again, it's it's just it's one game, and we're not going to try to make this a bigger deal than uh, what it needs to be. And uh, if if we lost this game, we wouldn't have made it a bigger deal than we needed it to be. 
because um, again, there's there's still a whole lot of football left in this season, and we got to continue to stack wins. Josh, this team being a team that just never goes away, really, no matter how many points you're up or how much time's left in the game, almost. At what point did you feel that this game was going to be different than last year? Uh, when we took our knees at the end of the game. Um, again, it's a it's a team that's got an incredible offense, got an incredible quarterback. Um, so they're never out of the fight, and they continue to, to continue to play. And you saw that there at the end. But um, you know what a play by by Greg Rousseau and, and Micah Hyde. Um, but really, just our defense as a whole being able to to come out there and um, try to make them methodical and, and long drives and kind of take away the the deep ball and um, you know bend don't break mentality. And our defense came out there and did that. Was there any uh, last one criticism from your defense for scoring too fast? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Uh, you know, I know it's going to sound weird, but to beat this team, you got to score more points than them, and uh, you know, we did that tonight.